Hey everybody, we hope you've been enjoying our series where we look into the gear that we use to make our films. Now we've been talking a lot about the gear that we use, but sometimes what's really important is getting that gear to the actual location that you need to shoot. For example, we have the DJI Osmo, which came with its own case. If you look at our iCan lighting gear review, that came with its own bag. The Canova slider came with its own bag, but our cameras did not come with their own bag. And we don't have some you know, big, fancy, huge Pelican case for that. We actually have just a simple camera bag. Uh, it's a camera bag from a company called Kata. And the bag is called the 3N1-10, which I think is some combination of numbers that express how many formations you can have with this bag. So it's a little tiny camera bag and we use it for our main camera bag. Sometimes we put the Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera in there. Sometimes we put the Nikon D7000 or 7200 in there, but it's a very versatile bag. All right, so what do we like about this bag? Well, first of all, it's pretty versatile in the sense that you can wear it in many different combinations. It has two shoulder straps, so you can wear it as a backpack. You can sling it over one shoulder and hide the other strap. You can sling it over the other shoulder and hide it with that strap. It's got a lot of zippers, which is really nice. So for the exact same compartment, you may have three or four zippers, which is really nice. So you can kind of open with one zipper and then close with the other, which is really nice. Um, it's also very configurable, like most camera bags. So you have a lot of Velcro pouches, you know, to arrange things like that. And you can put, you know, different configurations in there. So when we have our micro cinema camera in there, we have a very different configuration than when we have the Nikon D7200 in there, for example. A lot of little pouches on the side, which is good. We keep our batteries in the pouches. Uh, we keep our batteries in the top slot. It even comes with a little SD card pouch, which is sweet. So definitely thought a lot about that stuff. A lot of very versatile bag. Uh, lots of stuff you can do with it. And it's pretty compact, you know? It's a little tiny little bag. Uh, I'm sure when we show up to some clients' shoots, they're like, whoa, that's, that's all the gear you have? Um, but you know, it's really, it really works for us and uh, it's very easy for us to carry around. And not to mention, there's also a lot of padding on the back and kind of little kind of air holes to kind of help with uh, ventilation and stuff like that. So um, not that I notice that on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm sure that does help. Okay, what don't we like about the bag? Well, ultimately the bag is pretty small. So as our gear gets bigger and bigger, I mean, it'd be nice to have one bag where we could carry maybe all three cameras in there with all our lenses and stuff like that. Um, the bag is really suited maybe for one camera with a bunch of accessories, maybe one camera with a couple lenses and a bunch of accessories, but it's not really suited if you wanna kind of put two camera bodies and a bunch of lenses or three camera bodies or whatever. So it's definitely on the smaller side when it comes to that. And one thing I should mention as well is that the configuration of the Velcro and all that stuff is not 100% ideal. I mean, there's not Velcro everywhere, so you can't fully customize exactly how you want the slots. Um, so sometimes you're trying to kind of come up with configurations that don't exactly fit what you want. All right, that's it. So that's the camera bag that we use to transport our cameras to our locations. If you have any questions at all about it, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified about new videos. We also would love you guys to suggest any videos that you want us to do. Is there anything that you want us to cover? We're trying to get more and more into YouTube for sure. We're trying to publish more and more content. So definitely let us know. Comment below, email us, whatever you want. We'll try to get back to you. All right, that's it for now, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Chilling